Hi guys, Chantel here and today I thought I would do a bit of a haul for you guys, even though I said because I was on no spend I wasn't going to do one. But as some of you will know, Toys R Us is closing down right across the country. So um, I did go there last week, week before last, whenever they said they were shutting down, and picked up a few items ready for Elian for his birthday and for Christmas. So I thought I would do a Toys R Us closing down sale haul. Now, I don't remember the price of everything. Apologise for that. I didn't keep the receipt. Sorry. Um, but there's a range of stuff, so I thought I would show you guys. Most items were 25 or 30 percent off. So, uh, pretty decent prices, I think. Okay, we'll start with this till. So, it's really cool till. It's got a scanner that beeps. It's got a cash drawer, calculator, and a weighing skills. And it, the till actually works as a calculator. So, this was down to £25 from, I think, I think it was like 32 originally. So, we got this one. And then the plan is to buy wooden food um, from Aldi and Lidl's when they have their wooden toys in um, to go along with it. Next up I got these two little remote control vehicles. So a dump truck and a digger. Um, these were down to like £7.50 each from they were either £12 or £13. So he loves these kind of like digger machines and things so I thought these would be really good for his birthday. <clears throat> he is obsessed with Fireman Sam at the moment um, so for Christmas I bought him the big set which had the fire engine, the helicopter and the yellow Land Rover um, but then I found Venus. Um, this was really cheap um, I think this was actually 40% off. Um, I, I think I only paid £7 for it, which is pretty good going for Fireman Sam merchandise because it's usually really expensive. So that was a bargain. He is going to love that for his birthday. Yeah. Okay, next is kept for Christmas, this one now. So, the Octonauts. This is the Gut K. So it's like the um, Swamp Monster one. It's a pretty decent size set. So this was currently at £20 when it was there, but they, which was already a reduced price, I believe. And then it had been reduced further down to £14, £13.99 I paid for it. So I was quite pleased to have gotten that. I really wanted the Octopod. That's ideally what I went down looking for, was the Octopod itself but they didn't have any octopods in stock. They only had this one and one of the smaller vehicles as well. Those were the only two they had in stock there. Now these two, I don't remember the prices of. Um, sorry. Now these are for his birthday this year. So there's a Blaze set. This is the Giza Blast play set. So it's kind of like two cars that jump over. Um, but I know it was 30% off, but I don't remember how much it was. <laughs> I know this was one of the more expensive items that I bought. So, But he loves Blazing the Monster Machines at the moment. It's the other programme that he's like really obsessed with. Um, he will choose Blaze over everything else pretty much. So I'm hoping that he will like this. It's meant for 3+, plus, but... He's going to be two. And then the last big one. Oh. Yeah, I couldn't exactly pass up Paw Patrol. So this is the big, um, what's this called? I don't know. Oh, it's called the Launch and Roll Lookout Tower. So you guys can see that. And it comes with a few little characters. Um, now I know this was, I think it was 50 down to 35. So it was still pretty expensive for a plastic track essentially. Um, but Paw Patrol stuff is so expensive. 
Um, I do get lucky sometimes and manage to find it in Home Bargains and B&M, but not often do you find the, like, the good quality Paw Patrol toys. So this is kind of like his big present for his birthday this year. And then I've got a few more little things to show you. As I said, he is like properly into Blaze. Um, and we already had two of these cards at Christmas time, um, but I found some more. <laughs> so these are the Slam and Go cars. He's already had these, he had these for Easter. So you press them down and then they shoot off. Um, these are usually £12 and I had them for £7 each. So I was quite pleased with that. Yeah, he he loves them, loves them so much. So he's now got a set of five of these so we can do car races across the living room, which he thinks is awesome. And then the last thing, some more Paw Patrol. Oh. Again, he's, he's already had these. Uh, they're these little Paw Patrol characters. So they do come with little click-ons but I don't let him play with those on his own because they're quite small and they're the ones that have got all the moving legs. So I think these are meant to be like the, the Amazon exploration or jungle exploration range. We already had a chase whose legs bent to go down the slide on the Paw Patrol Tower which Elian had for Christmas off his godmother. Um, but we didn't have any other characters that he could use on that playset. Now he has a full set. So I didn't buy Chase, obviously. Oh, sorry, my phone. I didn't buy Chase, but I bought the rest of them. Um, so these were meant to be, I think they're meant to be like £12 each. They're either £10 or £12 each. And I paid £5.40 each for them, which is still a lot of money for such a small piece of plastic. But they are good quality ones. They're not cheap ones. Um, and he loves them. He plays with these a lot already. So we've got a little Marshall and a little rocky a little rubble <laughs> this is his favorite he loves sky he loves sky just because she's got a helicopter pretty much and then a little zoomer and they each came with some sort of like little click on um like little wings or little claws or little water shooters that you just clip into the holes on their backs so these he can use in his Paw Patrol tower now because they can they can slide down the tower properly because they look both their legs so yeah that's it so I think in total I spent um like 157 pound possibly um for all of it there was one other gift that was for a friend's little boy for Christmas that was seven pound for a lego ninjago set one of the small lego ninjago sets and that was seven pound um so yeah 150 pound about but i know that that was 65 pound off rrps so it was it was a pretty decent load of shopping and i've got a few pieces for christmas and a few pieces for his birthday um yeah so that's it I hope you guys like this. Please give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe and join the Two Hearts family and leave me a comment if you have also been to the Toys R Us sale, if you've managed to get any good deals, if you're planning on going because our store was starting to clear out in certain sections. We went um, about four days after they said they were going to close down and certain areas of it were already cleared out. Like I really what I intentionally went down there for was, it was for an Octonaut and a Blaze set and a Till is what I went down for. <coughs> um, but I also went down for, I don't know if I'm saying this right, Schlich characters. So the plastic animals, the Schlich animals, which are the more realistic plastic animals. I went down for those because I'm collecting those for Elian's Christmas present for his advent calendar. Um, and I was... I knew they had a big stand of it in our store and I went down hoping that I could find any of the farmyard animals that I could pick up. So even if it had been like the small ones, it would have been awesome. There was literally, there was one shelf left on the top, which obviously the store had moved everything up to and all that was on it was night and a horse and pterodactyls. There was nothing else. The entire stand was empty and the stand is huge as well. 
if you've seen like schlich stands it's three schlich stands full heighted ones and it was empty so i was gutted um because they were 25 percent off which i mean isn't a huge saving but when schlich is so expensive 25 percent is pretty decent so i was really good that i couldn't get any farmyard animals on that front um and then um some of the like electronic toys that had been started to be cleared out pretty quick and the bikes had been cleared out pretty much they only had small bikes left all of the bigger ones were gone um not something i was looking for so it wasn't a big issue uh so yeah our store was cleared out pretty quick i think we might take um a drive by there um next week just in case they have any sort of like restocking going on or they've got any more reduced stuff because there were a few other pieces that i would have liked for christmas but they were only at 20% off and they were still quite expensive. So I passed up on them at the time. So that's it guys. I will see you guys again soon. Bye. <laughs>